I'm Stuart Thompson, editor of Digital TV Europe. I'm here with Kumar Subramanian, who is the CEO of Media Melon. So can you tell me a little bit about Media Melon as a company? This is your debut as an exhibitor at IBC. Sure, Media Melon is a streaming analytics and optimization company based in San Francisco. We have offices in London, Europe, um, and in India. Um, it's a company that makes OTT services perform better, increase engagement, um, reduce subscriber churn. We provide a set of services that helps a publisher manage and operate an OTT service in a better way. There's obviously a lot of growth in streaming and OTT using adaptive bitrate uh, video. Can you tell me a little bit about the quality assurance challenges that uh, OTT operators face when they're using adaptive bitrate uh, encoding? Um, traditionally, broadcasters have streamed videos over a satellite or cable and consumers would receive the videos in the perfect quality. With internet streaming, with OTT streaming, there are a lot of places where things can go wrong. Um, adaptive streaming was a way to solve it by having a video be encoded and streamed at various bit rates. Um, there are challenges in terms of playback experience, playback quality, buffering, startup delay. There are all those challenges that uh, MediaMelon intends to solve using data analytics and using those aspects to improve into and stream. So can you tell me a little bit about the solutions that are available to, to overcome the, the challenges and what specifically Media Melon uh, can offer in this space? So we have three solutions. First, we developed an analytics solution called SmartSight. It's a way by which the player sends data back to our cloud, which provides information on where people are coming from, audience engagement, quality of experience, and how they are correlated. Um, then we developed a solution to help the streams take the right path to the player called Smart Route. So if one CDN or one network is performing better than another, Smart Route automatically picks the right network to come from. Then we figured out that the challenges mostly lie in the final mile. If you are far away from a hotspot or if a mobile network is very congested, the playback experience suffers. Um, Smart Play, which is based upon a technology called QBR, solves that by improving, that, improving the way that adaptive streaming works. Finally, what are the key elements in the technology that distinguish it from, from other ways of improving video quality? There are analytic solutions in the market that provide reporting on in terms of what the playback experience is. Um, what we can do is analytics that automatically act and improve streaming. Um, the way that Smart Play works is to look at the visual quality of the video at the different bit rates at which the video is encoded in and it understands the correlation between the bit rate and quality. Um, and then it provides information to the player so that the bit rate selection process is improved. When the scene is simple, the player would pick a uh, lesser bit rate, thereby use saving bandwidth. And more interestingly, when the scene is complicated, it can pick bit rates above the bandwidth. So um, virtually increasing the amount of bandwidth. By doing all this, buffering is reduced by half. The playback experience, the visual quality is improved substantially. The uh, quality consistency is improved dramatically. All of this increases engagement and reduces churn. Kumar, thanks very much. Thanks to it.